This time around, we're going to take a look at systems of equations using the substitution method. That is, we're going to solve one equation for either x or y, whatever proves most convenient, and replace it or substitute it into the other. Taking a look at our two equations in the system, we need to be clever about which variable is easier to get by itself. We want to work smarter, not harder. If we have a variable with a coefficient of 1, that's a lot better for us because we don't have to do any dividing to get it by itself. Well, our y variables here are kind of complex. We have a coefficient of 2 and a coefficient of 5. But looking at our x, inspecting our x variables, we have a good situation here because in our second equation we have a coefficient of 1. That's just 1x. Now, if we just subtract the 5y, we will have x by itself and then we'll be in good shape because again the whole strategy here is once you get either x or y by itself you can replace it into the other equation. Moving right along we're gonna keep our top equation 3x minus 2y equals 8 but we're gonna solve the bottom one for x. To get x by itself as you can see we need to subtract negative 5y or rather I'm sorry we have to subtract 5y which is going to give us a negative 5y on the other side. So if you solve this for x, you get x equals negative 5y minus 3. Okay, I think we can all handle that much. So now we have our top equation, which is 3x minus 2y equals 8. And we have our new one that we just solved for x. x equals negative 5y minus 3. Now, since this is called substitution, we substitute our newfound value of x into the other equation. So right here, we have found x by itself. What is x? x is negative 5y minus 3. So instead of seeing x here, you're going to replace x with what we just found, negative 5y minus 3. In other words, instead of 3 times x, we're going to substitute in x. Instead of 3 times x, we're going to do 3 times negative 5y minus 3. Here we go. We have 3 times what x just became. 3 times negative 5y minus 3 minus the 2y from the original problem equals 8. Now we have to use distributive property. 3 times negative 5y is negative 15y. 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. Recopy the minus 2y equals 8. Moving right along, we're doing pretty well here trying to solve for y we need to collect like terms. I can see that we have a negative 15y and a negative 2y. Those combine to a negative 17y. Recopy your minus 9 equals 8. Now in this process we have to get y by itself. So we want to get rid of minus 9. We add 9 to both sides. And now we have negative 17y equals 17. We don't want negative 17 times y. To get rid of it, we divide both sides by negative 17. Therefore, we have y equals negative 1. That's part of our solution. The y coordinate is negative 1, but we also need the x, because remember, systems are looking for an intersection point. So we have our y, now we need to find our x. The easiest thing to do here is to go back up to the beginning. And we had an equation for x. We have x equals negative 5y minus 3. Well, we just found out a second ago that our y value is negative 1. If the y value is negative 1, I can replace it in there. Negative 5 times negative 1 is positive 5. Take away the 3. Positive 5 take away 3 is 2. So now x equals 2. x equals 2. So when you have y equals negative 1, x equals 2, writing that as an ordered pair, we have 2 comma negative 1. That is the final and correct answer. 2 comma negative 1.